Hey everyone, welcome back y'all. This is going to be a little lengthy, so I apologize. I'll get through this as quickly as possible. A couple of things I need to speak about in this video as I'm showing you more groceries. And you're going, what? I thought you were done with your grocery hauls. Yes, I was for this month. But y'all, y'all been hearing me tell you how sick I've been and how I don't feel well and the migraines and all the things that have been happening. Y'all, I'm lethargic. I'm wanting to sleep a lot longer in a day than I should ever sleep. <laughs> And um, I'm not practicing being dead, so I need to get out of bed and I need to do the things that I need to do. So with that being said, I have decided I can no longer stay in a mainstream diet. I have been vegan for almost 25 years. Then I kind of creeped a little bit into the vegetarian world with the exception of all I was having was a couple ounces of cheese once or twice a month, some coffee creamers that are more milk-based than almond-based, and I had a little bit of sour cream, which sour cream doesn't seem to vote well for me. So that's back out of the picture. And that's about it. That's, I don't eat any kind of, uh, I wasn't eating any kind of meat meat products of any sort. I uh, was a vegan that hated tofu. I was a vegan who could not stand the fake meats and things of that nature. And there was a lot of things in the vegan world I didn't like that you're trying to eat for protein and I just couldn't do it. And my protein levels are just horrifically low and that's just the way it is. So, long-winded to say, it spawned a $20 grocery haul for myself. Yes, me, me, myself, and I to get me back to being healthy. I tried to come back to our mainstream diet with eating very small amounts of chicken and beef, and it was not working, and I have been sick ever since. In fact, if you see my hand here and you see my finger right here, how bad my finger's gotten, that's what starts to happen when I eat meat. Not sure why. I get it on my elbows, my arms, my fingers, my hands, all that. So my digestive tract has been off the whack. I've been sick. I have not been feeling good. I have been lethargic. My migraines have gotten worse. And yes, I have a history of migraines, but they get worse when I eat meat for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you what's going on. So this haul is $20. It was $19.98. Um, so it's, I just rounded up to 20. It came out of my buffer in my bank. Um, I do not zero base out my budget. I'm not a zero base budgeter. I'll be honest. Everybody knows this, but I do put a lot into envelopes and savings challenges, but I do have a healthy amount in my bank account when I need to pull from it because I've got money in different pots everywhere to make sure that I'm fully covered and so are my kids in case anything hits the fan. So with that being said, let's go ahead and go over this and I'm going to talk to you about my kids menu too. I've got 18 bananas started out this morning with 19. I can't tell that these bananas are green. My kids not told me that either Because um, I don't see color, but with that being said, um, I tried to eat a banana today it wasn't tasting all that good because um, it wasn't ripe So I will let these ripen up. I will slice them. I will put them on sheet pans I will throw them in the freezer overnight after they ripen up and then I will put them in Ziploc bags instead of eating things like ice cream cakes cookies um brownies, things of that sort, y'all, I'd rather reach for fruit. I want fruit. When I'm craving sweetness, I want fruit. So if you didn't know already, bananas are my favorite food on the planet. I'm very happy to have them. This was under $5 and there was 19 bananas again. Then there was 18. Got myself a bag of spinach. I use that in some pastas um, when I make me you know, a little tiny bit of pasta with whole wheat pasta is what I like to eat it with. And um, I usually use olive oil and garlic and parsley and things of that nature. I'll throw some spinach in there as well. I also use them in my veggie wraps. One English cucumber. I like to do two things with this. I slice it up and put it on my salads or my veggie wraps. And I also like to slice it up and use it as chips. Instead of having actual salty chips and fattening chips, I'd rather have an English cucumber, believe it or not. I really, really enjoy English cucumber. I also will put uh, cucumber with tomatoes that I have here. I have just under two pounds of tomatoes and I'll do a uh, cucumber tomato salad with a little bit of Skinny Girl Italian dressing. Absolutely love it. Grew up on it. My father used to have a big garden and he grew some tomatoes that you would not believe. They were massive. They were those beefsteak tomatoes and he used to bring them in by the bucket and he would slice up the cucumber that he grew. It was all organic at that time and then we just put Italian dressing and a little bit of pepper with it and I was happy. He put salt. I don't do salt. Um, did get me some cilantro that is going for my homemade salsas and my cilantro lime rice that I like to make. And then I have three heads of romaine lettuce for my wraps and or salads. So back to what I was saying, 
I need to stay in the vegan slash vegetarian world. I'm leaning more towards, I want to keep my creamers, y'all. I'm not going to lie because the almond-based creamers aren't enough in different flavors that I would go back per se. I will tip back and forth between the two, but I do keep a little bit of my milk-based creamers. I've got to be very careful. I'm extraordinarily intolerant to milk and milk products. That's why I can't tolerate a lot of it. I do drink almond milk only, and it's very occasionally do I ever drink that. So with that being said, um, I'm going to stay in a vegetarian world, quote unquote, because I'm keeping in two tablespoons of cheese per month, and I'm keeping in my milk-based creamers. So I cannot call myself a vegan anymore in that aspect because of that. It wouldn't be right, and being a former vegan of 25 years, I know better. <laughs> so I am going to go back to my uh, vegetarian options. My kids are going to stay with the meat sources that they have. They're good. They're fine. They can tolerate it. I have intolerance to meat continuously. My digestive, it's inside and outside of my body. is just not working properly. Um, I'm getting sick. I'm getting lethargic. My migraines are getting worse. I have a history of migraines, but they're getting a lot worse. So that's what spawns this. This is coming out of my buffer. This is not coming out of my grocery budget. My grocery budget came in at $106.00. Feel free to add the 20 if that makes you feel better to say that I spent $126 for groceries for the whole month of October, which, hello, is five weeks. We did awesome. Um, we're going to continue to eat down our prepper pantry and our two deep freezers. Now, let's talk about my kids' meals real quick. It's kind of sporadic and all over the place. I did not put a menu together this week, and that's because I haven't been feeling well. I've been sick. I've been in bed. I've been practicing being dead, trying to sleep 18 to 20 hours a day. That doesn't bode well for me or the homeschooling children. So with that being said, that's why I am back on this main meals as of tomorrow. And we're going to keep it there. Now, this is not all that I eat, y'all. I eat mainly half starch, half veggie. It's also known as a starch solution, but I'm not full in 100% on starch solution. I will get gravy. I will do some dips that aren't um, starch solution approved or my coffee creamers that aren't approved. So I'm not 100% into the starch solution. I make my own way into it. But I do eat half vegetables, half starch with a little bit of, hello, fruit. <laughs> so we do that. So with my kids, um, I do have pork chops that will be going out this week and up here from the freezer. Um, they're kind of chickened out for the week. Unfortunately, we got a ton of chicken still left in stock, but they're chickened out. Uh, yesterday, I did order Uber Eats because I wanted to give my kids a um, treat for being such good campers over the last six and a half months and still going strong with eating down our prepper pantry and our freezers downstairs. So with that being said, I ordered them McDonald's yesterday. Today they had a grilled ham and cheese and they just had some chips with it, nothing really special. Tomorrow, we're just gonna keep it light and easy throughout this week. They will have some tacos, they've asked for that. They've asked for spaghetti to be put on the menu this week. Um, there may be some chili, I'm not sure. Or we may just be doing a lot of sandwiches and wraps and things of that nature and salads for them as well because they do love fruit and veggies also. So no menu like worked out for the week. We're just going to kind of pull as we can. If I can fill some of those videos, my kids will be cooking their own meals this week. Woohoo, woohoo, woohoo. So they're going to be cooking their meals this week. It's part of their home economics class. And if I can get some of those videos in on here, I will do that for you as well and show you that. So that's pretty much what we're doing for this week of October 17th through the 23rd. And again, I am going back to full on vegetarian mostly vegan mostly vegan because i don't drink coffee every day i may have one or two cups in a week and that's it i drink mostly tea and other liquids i drink a lot of water i drink some lemonade things of that nature gatorade things of that sort but just wanted to come in and show you what was going on where we we're at why my meal plan wasn't up for the kiddos this week and why i have a 20 dollars grocery haul sitting in front of you so if you have any questions comments suggestions and or concerns Feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I will answer everything that you have to ask. So, till next time, y'all, please remember to stay safe. We'll catch you in our cash stuffing video tomorrow. Without Limits is out.